हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड कॉम्प्लेक्स लो पास रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ बैंड पास सिस्टम हियर वील यूज लो पास रिप्रेजेंटेशन फॉर बैंड पास सिस्टम टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लेट अस कंसीडर ए सिग्नल ए सॉफ्टी व्हिच इज अप्लाइड to a linear time invariant system with impulse response h of t this h of t is known as band pass impulse response now let us represent this h of t which is the band pass impulse response in terms of quadrature low pass component hi of t and hq of t so let us uh, represent h of t in terms of hi of t and hq of t so we can represent h of t as h of t is equal to hi of t cos 2 pi fct माइनस एच क्यू ऑफ टी साइन टू पाई एफ सी टी लेट अस कॉल दिस एज इक्वेशन नंबर वन नाउ लेट अस कंसीडर हेच डैश ऑफ टी विच इज कॉम्प्लेक्स एनवलप दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स एनवलप इज ए लो पास फंक्शन सो दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स एनवलप इज ए लो पास फंक्शन दैट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्वाड्रेचर लो पास कॉम्पोनेंट as h dash of t that can be written as h i of t plus j h q of t let us call this as equation number 2 so what we have done we have taken the impulse response we have represented impulse response in terms of quadrature low pass components and we have taken the complex envelope and that is represented in terms of quadrature low pass components now we can represent h of t in terms of h dash of t okay so we can represent h of t in terms of h dash of t as h of t is equal to real part of h dash of t into exponential to the power of j 2 pi f c t let us call this as equation number 3 let us take h dash star of t which is complex conjugate of h of t now let us represent h of t in terms of h dash star of t as h of t is equal to real part of h dash star of t into exponential to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t let us call this as equation number 4 now what we can do let us add equation 3 and 4 let us add equation 3 and 4 so if we add equation 3 and 4 we can write it as 2 h of t will be equal to h dash of t into exponential to the power of j 2 pi f c t plus h dash star of t into exponential to the power of minus j 2 pi f c t let us call this as equation number 5 now let us take fourier transform of equation number 5 let us take fourier transform of equation number 5 so if we take fourier transform of equation number 5 we will obtain 2 h of f is equal to h dash of f minus fc plus h dash star of minus f minus fc let us call this as equation number 6 always remember for real valued signal 
h star of f will be equal to h of minus f now we can write equation number 6 as h dash of f minus fc will be equal to 2 h of f so this is for the frequencies greater than 0 so let us take this as equation number 7 so if we say frequency greater than 0 which means this is the expression for positive frequencies of the signal therefore we can say that the complex low pass frequency response h dash of f of linear time invariant system can be obtained by taking the band pass frequency response h of f for positive frequencies by shifting it to the origin and scaling the amplitude by 2. So this we understood from equation number 7. Therefore the complex low pass frequency response h dash of f can be expressed in terms of quadrature components as h dash of f is equal to h i dash of f plus j h q dash of f. Here h dash of f is equal to 1 by 2 h dash of f plus h dash star of minus f and h q dash of f can be represented as 1 by 2 j h dash of f minus j h dash star of f. Therefore, complex impulse response h of t of band pass system is obtained by taking inverse Fourier transform of h dash of f. So, let us take inverse Fourier transform of h dash of f will obtain h dash of t is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity h dash of f exponential to the power of j 2 pi f into df. So this is about complex low pass representation of band pass system. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.